The Florida legislature began its 2008 session in Tallahassee on Tuesday with budget concerns as a top priority. Those concerns are also in the minds of state and local law enforcement officials who worry that cuts could lead to an increase in the backlog of pending cases at crime scene labs across the state. The Florida Department of Law Enforcement's Regional Operations Center in Jacksonville processes evidence from 13 counties in Northeast Florida and employs approximately 155 people. According to Dominic Pape, special agent in charge of the Jacksonville facility, the addition of newer technologies like advanced robotics and evidence processing programs have allowed the organization to work more efficiently and has led to a reduction in the backlog of pending cases over the last year and a half. Well, what we've done basically in the last year and a half, in fact, we have uh, reduced our backlog and everything by about 65 percent. So what we've done is we worked a lot smarter. Uh, we looked at how uh, evidence was being submitted into the laboratory. We looked at that whole process. Uh, then we also looked at technology. You know, was there advanced robotics like in DNA that could help us uh, work more effective and more efficient? Fears that the backlog will increase again if budget cuts are approved were noted by FDLE Commissioner Gerald Bailey, according to an article by the Associated Press. PAPE, however, believes that it's too early to predict how cuts, if any, will impact crime lab operations. It's really too early to tell because the legislature does not even know how bad the shortfalls will be. So they have to find out where those shortfalls are at first. Uh, but also, uh, Representative Dick Kravitz and even Senator Victor Christ, they're working with us to, to figure out how best try to absorb some of these cuts. Because clearly the state has a financial situation on, on the revenues coming in. So it's not just us and, and public safety. I think all ag agencies in, within state government are going to have to see some cuts. For more on this topic, continue to check Jacksonville.com for updates. For Jacksonville.com, I'm Amanda Warford.